Hi guys, this is Michelle Nicolaisen with Bombshell.com and today I wanted to do a workflow video for Streak for freelance writers. Most of what I'm going to talk about is applicable no matter what kind of freelancer you are and I do have a general review video of Streak, but I feel like it's particularly useful for freelance writers for a couple of reasons that I'm going to get into, so I wanted to do a video showcasing that. So first off, this is their homepage. It's just at streak.com and it kind of gives you an overview of what it's about. If you haven't watched the other video or if you're not familiar with Streak, it is a CRM. It's a way to keep track of pipelines inside Gmail. So you can see some of the features here and they do have a, an iPhone app, which you can see what that looks like here, and it's all free. There is a plan that starts, I think the pay, pay, paid plans start at $19 a month, as you can see, uh, but the free plan is perfectly good for me, and it's gonna be good for most freelancers. You don't really need the paid plans unless you're managing like a sales team or a customer service team or something like that. So let's see what it looks like. This is what my CRM pipeline looks like inside Streak. What it does is it just adds a little folder here called pipelines. You can see that it has pitched. Lead is when someone has replied to a pitch or has actively expressed interest in working with me. Negotiating is when we're talking about rates. Waiting to invoice is pretty self-explanatory and then closed lost and closed received payment. So this is how I keep track of pitches when I send them. I've been pretty booked up and I've had more incoming clients than usual, so I haven't been keeping up with it, which is why it's all pretty out of date. But when I was actively pitching like three to five gigs a day, this was really, really useful for keeping track of follow-up and keeping track of what was actually working and what wasn't. The other way it's super useful is for keeping track of people that you're interviewing or quoting for a story. So this is a sample workflow of that. You can see that I had it modified to, do, to be pitched, interview scheduled, audio to Gwen, who is the transcriptionist I was using, article finished and published. And when you go look at the boxes, you can see that you can keep track of who's writing it. If you're managing more than one person, you can set a scheduled published date. You can add notes here or here, and you can see the emails that have been added to the box and people who were attached to the emails. So if I had been, if I had talked to a couple of people, then all of their emails would be in here as long as I had added those emails to this box. Now let's look at what it looks like when you add an email to a box. This is someone interested in working with me and all you do once Streak is involved or Streak is installed is you add thread to box and then you click the box and that's that. And you can change it from here and the sidebar shows up when you're inside this email or inside other emails that are in the box. Now, the two ways that I've used it that I just demonstrated, the sales CRM, which is what I just showed you, and then to get those features like when the publisher date is and who's working on it, that's the journalism pipeline. So the interviews pipeline that I just showed you, I use that using the journalism format. And once you create it, you can easily customize it like this. and. That's really all there is to it. It's a great tool, it's super lightweight, super easy to use, and you can't beat the, beat the price point. If you are a freelance writer and you're having trouble staying organized, especially if you're into analog tools, you should check out the Freelancer Planner Kickstarter, which is going on right now. You can check that out at freelancerplanner.com. It is the first paper planner that gives freelancers one spot to keep track of everything about their business and trains them to be more productive as they use it. And you can pre-order your planner for 25 bucks. So. If that's something you're interested in, go check that out. If not, that's cool too. Either way, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.